everybody, it's John James Hale here again, and today I'm going to open up the Marvel Legends Blizzard the, from the Hulkbuster line that I'm working on building that figure along with a couple others. This is Blizzard in his box. He is one of um, Iron Man's um, rogue villains, I guess you could say. On the side here is a look at the artwork. Same on the other side. And here's the back, which shows all the figures you need to build the Hulkbuster. And it says here he's a common thug turned powerful villain. Donny Gill paralyzes his enemies with an arctic blast. Um, I think he is a member of the Thunderbolts. Last time I read any of the comics. Um, and he looks pretty basic inside the box here. So bear with me a minute and I'll get him out and we'll take a look. Oh, really? Alright, here's Blizzard outside of his package. As you can see, he's having a hard time standing on his own two feet. Hey, there you go. Um, he's got a pretty interesting marbly blue plastic that they molded him out of. And it is nice that you can see that it looks like there might be actually somebody underneath the mask. With the details that they put in, you can almost see a mouth and a nose. <clears throat> Other than that, he is molded in blue and painted white for most part. Or molded in white and painted in metallic blue. Which the downside of that is, where he's molded in white and painted blue, the blue doesn't match the marbling that they used. Which is kind of a bummer, and you can tell the white, you can tell where the white was painted, and it kind of fades a little bit in the, around the joints. But they did at least use white inside of there, and the whites don't match. He's not really a figure that I probably would have ever wanted if it wasn't for the fact that he had the Hulkbuster piece. And that's, of course, why they do the build of figures, is so that you buy other figures that you probably wouldn't. Um, his articulation is pretty good. His head goes all the way around. It goes way back and forward. It's a little loose. He does have the standard shoulders that go around his click. And it's the first one of these that I've picked up that click. And they go up and down. He's got bicep. He's got the double hinged or double jointed elbows and his hands do go all the way around and they are hinged mm, there it goes the sad thing about this guy is he doesn't come with any extra things like ice effects or anything uh, he's pretty just basic but he does have pretty good ab crunch he goes that far forward not very far back. In fact, he doesn't go back at all. And he does have the, of course, the waist, which goes all the way around, if that's what you want to do. And his hips don't, oh, don't go out that far. a little funny. It does go forward pretty good. And not so far back. I mean, I could probably take it out into the side if I wanted to, but... And he does have the upper thigh, double-jointed knees, boot swivels that are very loose, and his ankles do have articulation as well as rocker pivots which are nice so all in all he's pretty basic not a whole lot to him I do like the color blue it's a very nice look for him but he does come with these two pieces which is the front and back chest and upper, or uh, chest piece and upper back of 
the uh, Hulk Buster. Which, let's see if I can get this thing, figure out how to put this together. Here is that lower piece again. Looks like this isn't centered. Hopefully it spins. It looks like it goes into there. Is it off centered? I should be able to. Man, I don't want to break it. Why is he. The little peg's not centered, man. He is tight in there, too. And hopefully, it goes together. That would be a bummer, wouldn't it? Maybe once I get it all clipped, it ain't gonna let me. does not want to clip together. Oh, there it goes. Oh, come on, go straight there. There. It was, uh, no, not difficult at all. Yeah. So, in comparison, Hulk Buster suit's going to be pretty big. He still has his legs and his arms yet to go. Good, he did kind of center on a little bit. Well, I don't know if... Maybe it'd be easier to pick up his pieces without having to get Blizzard, because he's... I don't know, there's not very much much to them, other you than know, just blue and white. Um, I guess it'll fill out your villain ranks a little bit. It is kind of cool, the, the ice. Um, boy, I don't even know what to call it. Just the way the cut of the ice in his, in his costume is kind of nice. And then the boots as well. I mean, his outfit's pretty uniform. reflects light really well. Well, <laughs> that's all I got with him. He's he's not that interesting, really. Sorry. Uh, but anyway, thanks for checking out the video, and if you enjoyed this at all, give me a like and a subscribe, and um, maybe let me know in the comments if you know if this is supposed to be able to move any more than this it sure doesn't feel like it does. I mean, it clicks a little bit. I don't want to break it, though. Yeah, let me know if that's supposed to move. Um, thanks for checking this out. Bye.